Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa, also known as Alyssa Plays on social, and I play The Sims. Today I have a couple little random updates to show you of things that I changed or added, and then other than that, we're just getting right into decorating and furnishing this other cottage. Also, you guys will have to excuse my voice today. I'm just at the very end of a disgusting cold that just won't go away. Anyways, let's get into the game. I changed the water to this one. Looks so much better. I always use this. I use this and pools too. I love all of these other ones that they have. There's just like too much going on. I like the concept of leaves in the water and sticks and stuff and the petals, but like, why are there so many? You know, I don't know. That's just how I feel about it. Anyways, I changed the watercolor. I added like some more fish and stuff. Oh, I also added fireflies like everywhere. I put these little boxes of fireflies like all over. There's one here. I think there's one in here somewhere. There's one there. So not everywhere, but like in multiple places. I actually even want to add more trees and more plants and greenery and stuff. I'll do that off camera. That's so boring. The other thing that I did is I did change some things in this cottage, but I just realized that I'm not in this cottage right now, so we can't even see it. I added wallpaper though in this bedroom and changed the walls. You can see that at least. All right, moving on into property owner's cottage. The other thing that I did off camera is I went through all of these pretty much. I went through miscellaneous decoration and clutter and just like pulled out whatever I could use in here. It's finding all of these little things things that just take so much time. So now all we have to do is just place it. I don't even know where I want to start. Probably just the kitchen. Maybe just get the kitchen done. Still don't know where. I guess we'll just let's start with this. Start with one thing. I get overwhelmed sometimes. I don't know where to start or what to do. I'm a little nervous about cluttering up these countertops too much because then they won't even be able to use anything. I'm going to have to go back and delete everything because it's not functional anymore. So I have to be careful with that. Is this happening to anyone else where in between clicks, your game is like lagging or freezing. Watch when I set this shelf down, watch it, ready. Did you see that? And then again, it'll do the same thing. See, why is it doing that? I don't know what that's about. Okay, here are the shelves. I think these are pretty good. I tried to make it look super cluttered on purpose. Like I want this to be very full. Here, I think I might just do a stack of books or something like cookbooks, like maybe these, or I was looking for one with a bookend, but I think this is the best book stack that I have for what I'm looking for. I do like that one. Maybe we'll do this one instead. There's a few other things I need to place. I need to put this thing here. And I wanted to use this little base game spice rack. Maybe. I can put that right there in the corner. And then the toaster, I don't know if I'm gonna use this. Maybe I'll put a plant in the corner and then put the spice rack front, this one. Or actually maybe just here. Or like under the cookbooks right there maybe. I don't know, I'm not really worried about the spice rack right now. I'll come back to that later. Okay, cool, I like this little corner right here. I don't know where to put this. I never know where to put the hanging plants. Maybe over here in this corner. There won't be a chair. That's way too long though. I can never find what I need. Why does this always happen? I even took out the Christmas stuff and still. I know I'm just like scrolling past what I'm looking for like 20 times. I don't know if I'm actually using this or not. I mean, this could go here. Is that a weird place for that? I don't know. What do we think so far? How's it coming? I think this is okay. I don't know what it is about this kitchen that I just don't love. I don't know what it is. It just doesn't look good to me. There's something about it and I don't know what it is. I'm not gonna to mess with it over here anymore right now. I'm just going to turn the screen around and worry about the dining room table and then move on to something else. Okay, next we need a dining chair. Not really sure which direction I want to go here. I kind of like this one. I like these chairs. Maybe there's actually a different table that would work a little bit better than this one. The other house has this, I think. I don't want to use all the same stuff. I want to try to switch it up a little bit where I can. Is there a dining table that came with horse ranch? Okay, it's kind of big for the room, I think, but I actually like how this feels. Could they be mismatched? I don't really know. No, there's enough green going on in here. We don't need green chairs too. I hate this. <laughs> All right, put it there, put this on the table, the bread basket up there and call it a day. I don't know, don't need anything else. The bread in the middle-ish, right there. We'll put this here so it looks like he was doing some reading and then he had to get up and go do something else. <laughs> I think the bread basket should be bigger. Is this full size? Oh my God, what the hell? <laughs> what am I doing, man? Look at the bread. That's not what I meant to do. Point seven five, not seven five. 
right back to where it was in the first place. What a disaster. Can I get this bread basket in the middle of the table? Oh my God, I'm having a hard time for what? There, you should be able to eat fine. Whoever sits here is fine. Nothing on the other side. And if for some reason they can't pull up the chair and sit down, then I don't know. It's just gonna piss me off. That's all I have to say, I guess. We'll throw this little phone up here just because. Can't put my finger on it. There's just something about this room that is just not it. But for right now, I'm gonna move on to the next section of the house. We'll leave this alone. What else do we have here? Books, books, books. That's it. That's it for in here. A rocking chair. And then let's see if there's a different couch. Do we like the leather couch? I think that actually kind of does go with this, this vibe here. Not just instantly making things modern is such a challenge. Oh, wait a second. I really like this. And we kind of have the space for it. <gasps> Maybe we'll do that one. I love this. I never really use it just because it's big, but it works in here. Probably not brown though. Maybe they might need to stay this color, this orange, because I don't like that green. Oh man, I don't know. I really like this a lot in here. I just don't know. It's like the rest of the house. I don't know. I'm so used to making everything modern. Everything has light floors and light walls and stepping outside of my element to try and make something like rugged and cottage core is really difficult. I enjoy the challenge, but it's just taking forever and I keep changing my mind and overthinking things. I think this is okay though. Okay, I'm like panicking. I feel like I've gotten nowhere. I've done like a whole lot of nothing, but so much time has gone by. So I'm a little bit panicked. Okay, what if we do this instead? I changed the floors. I was like desperately trying to use something that was not custom content for the floors. I don't know why, but I have these floors and I love these. They're like one of my favorites. They don't really, they're not like super maxis match, but I think they still look good. I switched the couch chair table, bookshelf, and then this table here to pieces from the Lighthouse Collection by Charlie Pancakes. I changed the counters in the kitchen too. They're the counters from Harry's Coastal Collection. The Coastal Collection is like one of my favorite custom content collections ever. What if we put this in the kitchen? Okay, we might come back to this idea just on a bigger scale. And then this has, this needs to change, I think. I think the accent wall might be what's throwing me here. Looks cleaner for sure. It just looks kind of boring. Okay, so I just want to head into the mudroom. This is supposed to be a let's play where we do it together, but it's feeling a little bit more like show and tell. Sometimes I just cannot talk in task. It's so hard. It gets so hard for me to focus. I do my best, but if my videos feel like show and tell, this is why I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm having such a hard time with this build. I don't know what the problem is. I don't know if I like need to get a snack or something or just step away. It's been a few hours now though, and I just feel like I'm like getting nowhere. I've never done this before, but I honestly might have to carry this video into tomorrow. I just cannot get through this house. All right, we're back again. It's a new day. Yesterday after recording, I tried playing with this for a little bit to see if I could come up with something that I liked and still nothing. I tried putting the bedroom here and then moving the kitchen here and getting rid of these walls to make it open concept and then just ended up quitting the game without saving because I messed everything up and didn't like how it turned out. Honestly, there's nothing even wrong with this living room. Like it's fine. I think the layout is okay. I think the colors go together. I am just a very detail oriented perfectionist type person. So if there's something happening that I'm like not okay with, I feel like I can't stop until it's perfect. It's like a blessing and a curse all at once. I think I'm just gonna not touch this right now. I'm trying to just get this over with at this point because this is day two working on the same video for me. I'd like to make some new Sims for this village and move into the next cottage. Actually, I can show you what I did. I went into this lot this time just in build mode instead of selecting a house. So now I can show you everything. So here's what I changed about this other cottage. I think I changed the rug back to the one with the flowers and I put the wallpaper in here and I changed the rug. I don't know. I thought I did more, but it was actually just only a few things but this is how the bedroom looks now in here. And I added pillows on the couch. I'm pretty sure that's it. Then I moved into this house and I set it with wallpaper and floors, outlined the kitchen, and this is actually going to be a pantry. I pulled all the decor that I wanna to try to use in here. I just picked my base furniture again. It's a mess, but like I'm prepping myself ahead of time for later. And here's the upstairs. I found some new wallpaper and then also a couple other cottage themed custom content packs. So I also did this house with the new wallpaper paper too. I didn't do nearly as much though. I kind of got started in here and then that was it. I changed a couple random things in here, set this house up for later. So the walls and floor in here, now we're coming back over to this hot mess of a house and I'm gonna try and come up with something that I think will do. I guess it doesn't even have to be like 100%. I mean, the kitchen looks good. The living room has stuff in it. I can put a few more little details. The bedroom, I 
have nothing. I have a couple things to set in here, but like otherwise this house doesn't need to be like super full and cluttered. So maybe I'll just try to keep it simple just to get this one done so we can move on to something else. Kitchen's fine, I need to stop touching it. The only thing is this table, I kind of don't like. I really like the chairs, I think those are fine. But let me see really quick if there's a better table, like this one even, this one is just better. I just gotta make sure the chairs match a little better. Okay, cool, I like this more. Maybe I'll look into changing the walls again since I found new wallpaper. And then even floors too, I'm pretty sure I have some new floors. I don't know how good it'll look though. It's, I think it's just this one, like kind of plain. Damn it. Oh my God, if I do that one more f Oh my God, everything's falling apart. Stop. It's so crazy how wallpaper changes the entire feel of the room. Look how different that is. I actually like this a lot. It really warms up the space. I don't know if I was gonna leave this white or not. I think I picked it with intentions of leaving it white, but I changed my mind so often that who knows if it was actually gonna stay that way. Okay, how does this look? These don't really match the wall to the floor. I'm not sure about that. Um, I need to stop. You ever just get mad at yourself? You're fully aware of your flaws and your annoying traits, but you just can't stop doing it no matter what. Feel oh, bad, this guy's kind of getting gypped. I don't really care about his house like I do everybody else's. I don't know what about it is making me feel that way. It's like the layout or just the style overall. I mean, he's like a rancher man who lives alone. I know it can be whatever I want it to be, but I feel like it should be like kind of rugged looking almost. And that's just not how I know how to decorate. That's just not my my style that I know and love. So it's taking me like three years to do this. When I really don't even care about this one, I kind of just want to get it over with. I'm just tired of it at this point. But I can always come back to it when we're actually playing his story. I mean, I would like to have everything done so that I can just get into the gameplay right away without doing any more of this once we go into the households. But I don't know if there's any changes that I want to make along the way, I can. Oh, so the packs that I downloaded, I downloaded a couple things from Joyce's Fox and Cibulette, my Shuno son, and Felix Andre. I'm pretty sure that's it though. Oh, and I found a set from Simpossible. Simpossible? No. Sim Simspiration. That's what it is. Not Simpossible. I don't think anybody has a name that's Simpossible. <laughs> Oh my God, this lamp is books. Look at that. That's so cute. I love it. That's such a cute idea. Maybe we'll use this. Oh, <gasps> wait, actually we need to use this in the library right there. I don't forget. Oh my God, everything in here is so mismatched. I don't want a bedroom set, but I at least want it to feel cohesive in some way or another. Maybe he needs the same bed frame that they have to break it up. It's just, there's too much wood. I'll switch it up a little bit somewhere. I can make it like the, what is that, brass? No, brass is like yellow. Maybe that one. Except if the hardware doesn't match on the stuff, it's gonna drive me crazy. So actually, maybe not. Because those are the things that I pay attention to, unfortunately. It's like a curse, I can't turn it off. Maybe I'll give him a wardrobe instead of the drawers. I'll make it green so it's not wood. And then this can be a little lighter that maybe, and then this can also be lighter because I actually prefer this one instead of the other. So now these kind of match. There's no matching sets going on. I'm not crazy about that. I don't know about this either. I like it here. I like this plant though. Maybe I'll put this somewhere else, put it out here or something. And then here, find a lamp and put his little alarm clock. Everybody has these lamps. It's crazy. I remember there was a time for a little while, at least I think that these weren't very stylish. And now like in real life, they're like everywhere. These lamps with the, the cone shaped lamp shade. I had a lamp with this kind of lamp shade when I was a kid. And then for a while, it just wasn't cute anymore. Like you wanted these. And then now everybody's back to this again. It's so wild to me how things go in and out of style like that. Like when I was a teenager, I did not think that boot cut jeans would ever, ever come back again. I was like, in what world are these gonna be good looking? And here they are back again, but I'm sure it's not to stay. There's gonna be a day that these new kids tell you, nope, that's not cute anymore. And if you're wearing it, you're trash which is so unfortunate that we pay attention to that. I am very guilty of that. I'm caught somewhere between do what you want and follow the trends. It's really hard. All right, let's give him some different walls in here. That's so cozy. It doesn't match, but I love the color in here. That is nice. Okay, what is this? This is blue, green, and white. Oh, the bottom is blue. That's the only difference. This one's white. I like, 
I love the green. Let's do this. And then I'll just adjust the furniture around so it doesn't clash. But I actually really love this. I want to add this chair. There's like something about adding a chair to a room. I don't know. I just, I just like it. I like how it looks. Maybe we'll put the mirror on this side of the room in the corner and then he doesn't need this duffel bag. He's not going anywhere. Oh, I like this. It's tacky as hell, but cute. This too with the little blanket. Wait a second. This needs to go in here. Oh my God. It doesn't match the rug. Hopefully it's not too much to have this rug and this chair, but I just feel like this needs to be here. Too cute to pass up on or maybe just like that. I don't know. We'll worry about this next time we're in this house, but not now. Going back over this way. His room is super dark and cozy. I love it. Something needs to be here. I want to put some more things in here, but for right now, I'm just going to move into the next room. Let's go into the bathroom now. So I already picked all these things. Just throw this stuff down. Just get it done. I want to put this here. Hopefully it's not in the way. I'm not really sure. I do this all the time when I'm building, but I don't know if it's actually still functional. I'm sure this isn't in the way, but I guess we'll see. Oh my God. I forgot I sized this down. I gotta stop doing that. Every time I size down a surface, I'm like sabotaging my future self. Just giving myself a big middle finger basically. Oh God, I just got coffee on my keyboard. This is an emergency. Gotten so careless. I got gravy. Don't ask me how, but I got gravy in my keyboard a couple weeks ago. God, I can't believe myself. Just on the buttons, but I mean, this is an electronic device that's plugged in and there's now liquid on it. Oh my God, okay. Tried to set a rule for myself that I wasn't gonna put liquids on my desk when I bought my computer. How's that going? Anyways, how's this? Can I size? This is a mirror. I don't think I can size this down, can I? No, of course not. Okay, well, all right, that came together pretty easily. The bathroom, surprisingly, the only room that I haven't second guessed anything. I'm happy with the little things that I picked and we're good. We can just move on. I just wanna put a rug in there. I'll just use that one for now. This is totally fine with me. Moving on. The mudroom is done. The bathroom is done. The kitchen's done. The bedroom is good for now. Let's throw in a desk over here in this corner. Also for anyone wondering, I'm expanding this menu because I have better build by by Twisted Mexi. That mod gives you the ability to do this, which I don't usually need, but when I have a giant microphone right in front of my face, it comes in pretty handy. You like this one? Be here. The rocking chair can't stay there, obviously. I do like it in this direction though, instead of like facing the wall. I think I like that there, put a chair and then who knows what else. The rocking chair has just like relocated a million times. Just put it outside. Except if it's outside, then it's not his anymore. It can just go here for now. I don't really care about it. All right, I'm having another moment of I don't know what to do in this house. Here's what we got over here. I scrolled through clutter again and found these little things. We're gonna move into the barn now, this area. I'm just gonna throw some stuff out here just to make it look finished. And then after this, I'm gonna wrap it up here. And anything else that I change about this house, I'm just gonna do it off camera because I've had enough, to be honest. I'm done with this place. I'm ready to move into the next one. And sometimes when I'm on camera, I just can't think. So I think if I think of anything else that I want to do off camera, I'll just do it. And then you'll come back to show and tell again, since that's, that's what my channel is. It's just show and tell basically. Oh, actually speaking of show and tell, somebody left a comment asking me if I would make a video showing off like my favorite custom content and mods. And honestly, that's something that like, I think I would love to do. I never thought of doing it though, just because I feel like there's so many of those videos out already, but everyone has different preferences and if anyone's interested in mine, that'd be sweet. So yeah, I might make a video about my favorite mods and custom content. God knows I have a lot of that. Okay, wait, I just remembered something. For some reason, I can't set this backyard as part of this house and I don't know why. I can do it with everybody else's house. As long as I have like, I just added these little fences because I don't want to add like a full on fence there. So I just use these little ones and they work to set the boundary. They're like hiding back here where you can't see. There's one here. There's one here under this live edit fence. And there's one here under this too, because this is also live edit. Where even is that? Oh, it's like right in front of it, but you can't see it really. I couldn't even find it just now. So it's not visible, but it's there. And I can't do that here. I don't know what the problem is. I'm going to try it just so you can see and let me know if I'm doing something wrong. It's registering this as a room when I do that. Oh, I've already done it before. See, there's fence here already. So, and this is a fence as well. So it's, this is a room. This is part of 
of the Casper cottage. But when I delete the floor, it deletes the whole room. But how come over here, there's no floor? And here, this isn't a floor. This is the terrain. But it still registers this as a room. I think I tried to do this one and it didn't work. So I moved on to these and these all worked. All of these right here. And then I tried to do this one again and it's just not working. And I don't know why. This is nothing. This is like a fake wall. It's not like that's in the way. And this is basically the same as these other fences that I'm using. So that's, it's not that. So if you happen to know the problem, please let me know in the comments so I can fix it. Because this is very annoying. In the next video, we will furnish and decorate the next cottage that goes with the next family that I actually still have to make and we'll fill in their cottage, hopefully with a little bit more ease than this one. This was just a disaster for me, but hopefully you enjoyed it a little bit. Besides this house and my frustration, I am having a lot of fun with this series so far. Thank you guys all so much for your kind comments and encouragement. I read and try to respond to every single comment because you guys are the ones that are going to make my channel. YouTubers are not anyone without their subscribers subscribers and support. And becoming a Sims YouTuber is something that I've wanted to do for years, but I've just always been too afraid to do it. So getting started now and having this much support and encouragement, it's like really building me up and boosting my confidence. And it's making me more excited to put more content out because I know people are actually watching it and enjoying it. I know I'm not like a super bubbly peppy person, so you might not always be able to tell, but I am very excited and very happy that my channel is moving in the direction that I want it to move in. So thank you so much to everyone who has left a nice comment and given my videos a thumbs up and subscribed to my channel. Because like I said, you guys are the ones that make it. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here and you like my content, make sure to subscribe too. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.